Aloha. Thank you for joining me for another book review. Uh, this one's an unboxing and review of the Masterpieces of Fantasy Art, presented by Tashin. I uh, got this book about a year ago, and um, I'm quite pleased with it. I, uh, I really enjoy um, the size and the weight and the quality of the artwork inside. Uh, some of the art is uh, on the pages uh, printed on, and other pieces are actually um, uh, a, a separate print that's um, attached to the page via some uh, glue. Um, so you have a, a variety of different uh, mixed media book here. I particularly like the book because I uh, it has a collection of Frank Frazetta's work, which is quite nice, and it opens actually with um, the Egyptian Queen. But anyways, into the book. It starts off with a history of fantasy and just kind of talking about, uh, you know, the, uh, the past uh, in terms of um, where fantasy has its origins in different cultures. This is also the multilingual addiction, which is uh, interesting because each section has different art um, to, with um, each language. So even though you might not be able to read German, you can it's still worth it to flip through that section because of the different artwork in each one. Um, there's uh, the German one and the copy of uh, Tolkien's front front work, uh, and it goes through the decades too. You'll you'll see stuff from the classical uh, age of fantasy art, Frank Frazetta, some of H.R. Uh, Geiger's work, and on as well as a variety of movie posters, and even some, I believe they have some Magic the Gathering card art in here as well. I, uh, I, I really think that this book is, uh, is quite special because it gives you such a variety to look through and such a, um, a nice, uh, how do I say it? Um, just a cornucopia. It doesn't really focus on any one style or type. Uh, and uh, you, as you can see, there's some that are quite abstract and different. Um, it, it, each of the main artists gets their own section. Uh, of course, I <laughs> I'm a great fan of Frank Frazetta. My my wallpaper on my computer is basically always the um, Savage P Palu Siddhar artwork, which was sadly not featured in this volume. There's the Egyptian Queen though, which actually sold for a record. Uh, a breaking auction uh, and for, for how much it was. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoy Frank Frazetta's work. I, I'm quite excited for the, the new book they're releasing soon, too. I believe it said it's out in March um, and it's going to uh, feature just exclusively his artwork. So I'm, I'm going to be picking up that when I have some money for it. Um, I, I really enjoy Frank Frazetta's work. <laughs> Uh, I guess it'd be an understatement to say I really enjoy. I love his work. Um, it, it was my. It is my favorite section in the book. Um, H. R. Geiger's is also quite nice, though I I, I am biased towards Frank Frazetta. Uh, and here, just uh, speaking of him, here's H. R. Geiger's uh, section. Um, he's famous for the biomechanical, and this it's nice because each section actually gives you. A description of the person's life and their background and you know some of the main projects they're known for um, as well as some more obscure stuff um, which is I think it's really nice to see that it kind of presents the each artist as a um, as a person um, uh, I, I also liked um, the, uh, the just the like you go from HR Geiger's which is this grim you know grim as grim can be to Brothers Hildebrandt, which is very colorful, whimsical art. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, some some books, like if I put something together, it would be just, you know, Frank Frazetta <laughs> and uh, more Frank Frazetta. And then after that, you know, just some other artists that I maybe like, like uh, uh, um, uh, the guy, the, the uh, I can't remember, his name escapes me right now, but um, I'm sure what he wrote in the comments, but he did all the Planescape Torment art. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Jeffrey Catherine Jones, also very uh, a good section here on the, the tortured genius that was uh, this artist. Um, I really found a lot of their art uh, quite engaging and interesting. Um, and 
and uh, you know, just their their life story too is 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 moving. Um, each section uh, it has you know some of it has double double page pr- uh, uh, pieces and others have um, you know just single kind of corner pieces like you can see some covers of the books they've worked on and uh, what have you. Um, so it is a it is a nice nice piece of work for that. Um, I, I do recommend it if you if you are maybe new to fancy art and you want to be exposed to a lot um, of different artists that maybe you know a lot of these people I had never heard of going into it, uh, even though you've maybe seen them like this one who did uh, the Vampirilla uh, art. Um, I actually had no idea who they were. Uh, and you know, very, very, uh, well done. I do my own art for my books. Now I, I can't afford the artist anymore, um, to do my, like my former covers, but, um, I'm enjoying doing my own art though. I would love it if I could get, uh, <laughs> the likes of somebody like Frank Fazetta to do a, a cover for me one, but, uh, you know, I don't think I'll ever be able to afford that, uh, that level of work since I'm still trying to be able to afford an editor. Um, and this is the 99 fantasy artists, which is quite neat. It has like just little blurbs about different people, um, and you know, pieces of their work. This is where I think you'll see there's a magic, the gathering artist in here. I don't, I can't find it right now, but, um, you know, it, it, it's quite nice. Also there's Bender, (laughs) uh, a startling discover on the cover of the startling comics. It's Bender. Yeah. You see? Oh, never mind. Uh, maybe nobody's heard of that uh, cartoon anymore. Anyways, uh, this was my uh, review. I think it's a wonderful book. A welcome collection to anybody who's um, collecting uh, fantasy art. And um, I hope that um, if you were interested in this book and maybe uh, uh, wanting to uh, get a copy, this might persuade you to to look at having had a look inside, you might be persuaded to uh, pick it up. Um, so yeah, and as above, so below. Uh, we must everything that was unpacked must be repacked, and so it goes back inside of its uh, the box that it came with. And yeah, um, that is that. And where would my videos be without a shameless self plug for one of my books? This is uh, Fovu, um, one of my uh, nice little uh, horror novels. The first one I ever did. It was about a influencer whose influence turns viral. Uh, very fun book to write. I used the Watergate tapes and scripture and fashion uh, manuals, um, as well as a influencer's self help book that I had actually gotten as reference for it. Uh, and it turned out quite good. I had a lot of fun writing it, and um, I'd gotten so I've gotten some good feedback on it. Um, so I hope uh, that you might be persuaded to pick up a copy if you liked it, or any other copies of my work, um, so uh, I can keep the lights on and the fridge full. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, and um, be seeing you.